I'm making me some food. And if you're in South Carolina and you live close to me, come on by and eat with me. I love sharing my meals. Let's go, let's go. So right now we're making patsy ew, guys. Patsy ew literally means fried soy sauce, right? I know. So you, when you cook stir fries, you want your oil hot. You want your pan to stay hot. So you kind of have to keep it at almost the highest setting, okay? So we got that in there. We're gonna start with some chicken, guys. Oh, hopefully this doesn't pop on me. Let's go, ready? This was about uh, six chicken tenders. Woo! A little bit hot. So anyways, this dish right here is my husband's favorite. One of his very favorite dishes. Uh, but guess what? He ain't home to eat it. Uh, so <laughs> I know. Guys, so what you do is you cook this chicken. And remember, you know what? Here's a, here's another tip. When you're making stir fries and you want to um, cut your your meat really thin, don't do it when it's fully thawed. Leave it kind of halfway through. It's so much easier to cut. I mean, do it that way, okay? We're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Well, that's pepper. <laughs> and that's salt. Whee! And you're just gonna keep on cooking it. And then, oh, and the pan gets hot. I didn't use my wok today, even though I said I was going to. I don't know, I just wanted to try out this pot that my mom gave me. Man, I'm gonna keep burning my fingers. So, what are y'all having for dinner tonight? Let me know. I mean, I, I would love to know what you're making for dinner, you know? Gosh, I'm telling you. But anyway, so this dish, it is, uh, you can find it in Thailand all over the place um, it's a street food you'll find it the vendors make it all day long so one of the things that you do though and remember when you are cooking stir fry you have to prep you cannot do it as you go because it cooks so fast I didn't have the noodles that I normally use for this um, guys the Asian grocery store like they're not out of rice but they're out of freaking fresh rice noodles. So I don't know what else to do. But these noodles right here are with any kind of rice noodles. You want to soak them for at least an hour. Okay? And then they're, they're still kind of hard. I mean, like, you don't want to eat them like that. And then you just kind of let them sit. And that preps them for cooking. Oh, good Lord. I think I just need to hold on like this. Cause I don't think I like this pan. My wok doesn't burn my hand like that. That's crazy. Oh. So from here, you're going to add some garlic. Guys, that's about eight, eight cloves. Because you know I love garlic. I love eating garlic. I don't know. Y'all love garlic? I mean, when you cook your meals, do you go overboard and crazy like I do and make all this garlic that's in here? So as we're cooking this, and I had already prepped some things. One of the things is it's Chinese broccoli. Sometimes they call it Gai Lin, but if you don't have Chinese broccoli, you can use regular broccoli. And it's the time, and this would be the time that you would actually cook some of it, okay? But Chinese broccoli, since I already prepped it, um, these are the stems. You wanna cook that with your chicken because they're bigger and they're harder, so they take a little bit longer to cook. See, guys, I swear the next time you guys see me, my hand is going to be having a, <laughs> a bandage or something on it. Then I'm really going to be screwed. Now, here's the kicker. Some of these, I really did not pay attention, but that's a really big piece. You kind of want to cut it thinner. Don't make it so big like that, okay? But cook this through until your chicken is done because your veggies will cook really, really fast. And then the next thing you're gonna do, once these veggies start cooking down, you will have, remember I said, everything that you have is already prepped. Two eggs, two eggs scrambled. Yep. and if you like peppers, you can do peppers. Of course me, you see, it's really not a lot, so I do two. I don't know how much heat can y'all take. Hmm? Thai 
food is hot, but it doesn't have to be hot. It doesn't have to be the way that I like to eat it because, you know, I made a dish at one time. Uh, my friend Kim, hey Kim, Kim, do you remember that time when I made that, uh, I don't know, it was a stir fry dish. What? It, oh, pot kimao, that's what it was, drunken noodles, and I burnt up the whole house because it stunk so doggone bad. It was, <laughs> the heat, I burned the garlic and the pepper. The guys were on the roof and they could smell everything from the outside. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all, my house was smelling. Smelling some awful bad. You know what? This cow's probably going to catch on fire if I keep it up. Good Lord. All right. So from this point, what you want to do is you're going to cook your eggs right in here. I know. It's kind of crazy. You want to scoop everything to one side. Make sure you have some oil down in there, okay? And then you're going to dump your egg in here. You're going to let it cook for a little bit. Of course, my dogs have to bark while I'm doing a live. It always happens. I don't understand. So, anyways, guys, this dish, you can get it at Thai restaurants. So, like, if you've never had anything and you wanted to try something different, um, this is a really good dish to try. It's actually really good, but the noodles that they use look totally different, so it kind of gives it a different texture. But I'm here to tell you guys, you don't have to follow the rules, okay? Some people on some cooking groups, like they tear my ass right up because I'm not using the correct noodles. Well, you know, in my mom's house, we may do with what we got. Can you guys see that, the eggs? So you wanna mix it all in like that, okay? But yeah, I mean, you, you know, people are like, oh, those aren't the right noodles for that recipe. Yeah, guys, I get it. But you know what? Sometimes when all there's wheat, all that's left is wheat bread, and that's what you got to get. That's what you, oh, look, it caught on fire. Shit. See? I knew it. God. Damn. <laughs> of course it has to happen. <laughs> Thank God I had a sink full of water. All right. Now that it's cooked, I cook, I don't know how I'm going to this out. Here we go. Ah. All right. Hopefully this other thing doesn't catch on fire. Jeez, Lord of mercy, y'all. Y'all almost had to call 911 for me. But I cook my noodles separately. So you should have some residual oil left. Grr! Guys, I think I need one of these mitts. Like, who wants to send me one? So I throw this in here, your noodles. And then, you need some spices. You need some sauces. This is thin soy sauce. I don't measure, but Rachel Ray says if you go around three times, guess what? About three tablespoons. Didn't look like it to me, but I'll add as I go when I feel like I have the right texture, color. Not texture, color, color. That was sweet soy sauce. And then this is oyster sauce. It's a little thick. It's almost like fish sauce, but not as salty. So you want to get in here. Make sure all your noodles are nice and coated. Okay. Um, some people, when they make this recipe, they actually will add sugar. I'm trying not to add a whole lot of sugar to things, but if you do add the sugar, you want to add it while you're cooking your chicken. So... Anyway, so you want to keep cooking these, and you want to make sure your heat is still high, okay? Because these noodles are still hard. I mean, I don't know if you can see the texture, but if that helps or not. But you just want to see how it's coated all nice. Keep on cooking that, okay? And then, when you're done with that, you want to add back in your veggies, okay? Let's see. I remember to grab. Guys, I can't see your comments because you know why I can't read nothing. Like, some things I can see, some things I can't see. I don't understand. So, mix up those veggies just like that. And remember, cut. If you're going to eat, you don't have to use those stems. But broccoli stems are actually very, very good to cook with. You just have to cut them a little bit thinner. So, as you keep. You see how I'm constantly moving? I want everything mixed in there. I want everything nice and coated. 
Oh, guys. You know, another thing besides you using, um, if you can't find Chinese broccoli, and I told you you could use regular broccoli, you can use broccolini too, but I don't want to spend that kind of money for a dish because this dish is under $10, right? Under $10, and it feeds four to six people, if not more. So think about that. I mean, if you went to a Thai restaurant and you got this dish, what will it cost you? Anywhere from eight to 12 bucks? I don't know, have you guys ever bought it at a Thai restaurant before? <laughs> Kim, I got a fire extinguisher, it's underneath the sink. Doesn't do me no good if I was gonna catch a damn uh, hand towel on fire because you know how I am. What I have in here are the, are the leaves from the Chinese broccoli. I separated the two, remember earlier I was telling you that the heart of vegetables you need to cut first. And then we're gonna add the leaves because we still kinda want them to have some kind of texture, but they're not mushy, you know? Ooh, I almost did it again, girl, I'm telling you. What do I, see, this is what happens when your husband's not home. You do stuff and then there's nobody here to help you. So you guys notice, I don't know if you notice how it start, the noodles are starting to change. That was from the bottom. And what I like to do is I like to let them sit a little bit, not too long, maybe like, you know, a minute or so, not too, too much, because I want the noodle to have some kind of like caramelization. Man, I'm using the big culinary words, right? I'm not a culinary chef. I've never been to culinary school. I am just a grown, grown chef. I call myself a chef, a cook, whatever you want to do. I don't know, y'all call it, but look at how it's already starting to get soft, okay? You got to keep it on that high heat though, guys, and you got to stay on top of it. Stir fry is not a dish that you just walk away and say, oh yeah, you know, like a crock pot deal, because I love crock pots, but sometimes some people just don't want to see them behind the stove either. So here we go, look at this. Gotta mix it in good. And let me, ugh, the noodles are falling off. I should have used my wok. I like this pan, but I am making a hot freaking mess all over my kitchen. Ugh, I should have, you know what I should have did, and I didn't tell you, and I normally do, is I scoop the noodles to the side and then do like that, okay? And then incorporate it, see? Why do I not share these tips? Why y'all make me so nervous when I'm cooking? Y'all don't think I'm nervous. Some people are like, oh, you're not an introvert. Shit, you guys have no idea. I am a homebody. Well, I mean, I go fishing and stuff, but at the same time, I'm not one for large crowds. Like, I don't know how many, how many of y'all, you know, like hanging out at the mall Christmas time. Cause I'm telling you, that is not my thing. Yeah, I don't like this pot at all. Maybe it's my damn spatula. I don't know. Y'all have any questions, ask, okay? Just ask. Cause guess what? It's almost done. Oh my God. Yeah, y'all see, see I'm having a difficult time? It's this pot. It's, 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 it's the bottom is not flat. It's the first time using it. My mom gave it to me. She gave me all her Rachel Ray pans. And so I was like, oh, let me try, because I know not everybody has a walk at their house. Oh, that's starting to look better. You know, let me see what questions. You guys got any questions? Don't be nervous. I'm, girl, you know me, I'm always nervous. I don't know. I get on here and I'm like, are people thinking I'm crazy? whatever but you know i want to share with everybody i want everybody to see how good this stuff is and guys guess what whoa, whoa it's done let me see you think i should taste it it probably burned my mouth i should i should i should i should i should why do i stutter see kim that's what it is when i get nervous i stutter no anyways guys look Let's see here. And you could cook those those veggies down even a little bit more. All right. 
Midnight. Of course, my dog's always in here. Can y'all see me? Hi. All right, let's see. Where's my little forky? Ah. It's hot. It's hot. Who in South Carolina? Who lives in the low country? Y'all want some dinner? I'm telling you. See? I told you. You know why the dogs are barking? Because they think it's dinner time. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all see that? Mmm. Just the, between the noodles being soft, it's got a little bit of heat. Not a whole lot. I thought it would have been more. Um, and then the chicken, you know, the textures from those vegetables. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Who's coming to eat? Who's coming to eat with me? Come on. Anyways, guys. Mm. When is the one? Because people find that rude. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like I said before, if you want to continue watching my shows and me cooking, come into my community. Because I think I kind of flood everybody's timelines and they get sick of it. And I want people to see another side of me as well. I just don't cook all day long. But, well, I do now. But anyways, look at me. I'm sweating. My glasses are fogging up. We're going to post the link in the comments for you to hop on in. There's no cost or anything. It's fun. It's free. It's just where I keep everything. So anyways, I hope you guys come and, and join me. And if not, follow me on TikTok or Instagram. Or you know what? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, you guys have a good evening. Enjoy.